Thank you for tuning in to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the edge split modifier. Today's uh, model that I'm using comes from this gentleman right here. Pause the screen if you want his information. Jumping back into Blender, let's talk about the modifier. When you have smooth shading enabled on an object, the edge split modifier will help control where, where um, those polygons are smoothed. Works a couple, there are only two parameters that you use edge angle, this takes the angle between two polygons and determines, uh, measures it and determines whether they should be smoothed together or not and sharp edges. You'll notice that these edges are blue that's because I have marked them sharp. Uh, you can do so quite easily by selecting the edges you want and then going into shading and UVs and marking uh, whatever you want whether it's the edges or the vertices or the faces as smooth or flat and marking them as sharp. Now when we tab back into edit or object mode so we can see what's happening a little bit better you can see the areas that I had the blue lines on the corner of this windshield right here where the windshield meets the hood and then uh, on the headlight here look a lot better and we can toggle to show you just how much it changes. So when you want a model to look really good, usually what you'll do is you'll model it out, you'll apply a smooth shading to it and an edge split modifier, go through and mark your edges sharp, and then apply it there. The only other thing to know about this modifier is that it's very, very useful when you're exporting assets to games. Blender, when you export as an FBX, does not normally contain the smoothing operate or the smooth uh, vertex information unless you have an edge split modifier applied to it. So before you export your models, you want to have an edge split modifier um, here in your, your list of modifiers so that you can, uh, you can control the way it looks once it hits your game engine. Otherwise, when you import it, it'll complain and say no smoothing information was found for this object, and then it'll just look like this when you import it in. Um, which can be what you want if it's a mechanical object, but for organic things, it's, you're without exception going to want to have some smoothing in there. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you have questions on how to use it more with Unreal, I do have an earlier tutorial um, on how to use the Edge Split modifier specifically for Unreal. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, thanks for watching the video.